I gave everything I had to fight against Islam. I tried to make legislation to shut down all Islamic schools in the Netherlands. I attempted to close all mosques, ban the Quran and ban Islam altogether from the Netherlands. As a Dutch politician, I opposed Islam in every way possible. Then, in 2017, I left Parliament and finally had the time to fulfill a long-held desire to write an anti-Islam book. My book would settle the dispute about Islam with a clear conclusion. Islam is a danger to Europe. In writing my book, I came across information that was at odds with the ideas I had. I learned that many of my ideas about Islam, stated by Orientalist, far-right Westerners, and even Islamic extremists had little or no basis in historical Islam. My research often presented me with contexts and interpretations that were very different from those I had propagated for years in politics. A more nuanced image of Islam slowly developed in my mind. Seeking more information, I wrote to various academic authorities on Islam, including Professor Abdul Hakim Murad, of Cambridge University. He pointed out various scholars, books and facts and advised me to read again and more deeply this time. One by one, my objections to Islam vanished. Islam was no longer a religion that promoted violence, hatred and anti-Semitism, or a religion that categorized women and non-believers as inferior humans and stridently opposed democracy. Slowly, my perspective of Islam was changing. I also received surprisingly satisfying Islamic answers to my existing Christian questions about specific dogmas such as the Trinity, the sacrifice of Christ and original sin. All that I was learning about Islam influenced my work on the book in such a way that it began to take on the character of a personal search for God. During this search, the person of Prophet Muhammad raised the most questions with me. Who was this man? 